In this section, we'll complete the second item in our programming to-do list, making the button display a pop-up when you tap it. This exercise will give you a little preview of what it's like to write code in Swift. Even though you'll just be writing a few lines of code, understand that you might not understand every single thing right away, especially if you're new to programming. That's okay. All that's important at this stage is that you have a general idea of what's going on. As you go through this course, you'll go over these concepts over and over again until they solidify in your mind. It's all about learning via repetition. Okay, make sure viewcontroller.swift is open and find the area where you wrote the show alert code and delete that print statement. We don't need that anymore because we'll be showing an alert instead. Now just type along with me. So we're gonna type in let alert equals and then UI alert controller. Just start typing that. And as you type it, you'll notice that autocomplete comes up. You can either keep typing it out manually or you can just hit enter to accept autocomplete, which saves a little bit of typing. Now I'm gonna type open parentheses and autocomplete pops up again with different options of how to create this alert controller. And I can use the arrow keys to go between here. And I'm gonna choose the bottom option here. As I start typing, it'll fill in this first gray area right here, which is the title of the alert controller. And I'm gonna call it hello, world. Now if I hit tab, it automatically moves to the next gray placeholder item to fill in, which is the message to show up in the view controller. And I'm going to put in, this is my first app. Hit tab again, and I can fill in the preferred style of the alert, which I'm just going to set to dot alert. Now that I've created an alert controller, I need to add a button that the user can tap to dismiss the view controller. If type along with me, I'll type let action equals UI alert action, again, enter to accept autocomplete, parentheses to open it up, and I'll choose the second option here. I'm gonna just start typing the title in quotes, awesome. For the style, I'm gonna put dot default, and hit tab again, and hit nil for the handler. Now that I've created a button, I need to add it or connect it to the alert by typing in alert dot add action, hitting enter to accept autocomplete, and typing in action. And there's one last step. I need to present the alert on the screen. And I can do that with present, parentheses, hitting enter to accept. And I'll type in alert, tab, animated, set that to true, tab, completion, set that to nil. That's it. Now I can command R to build and run. And now I have a hit me button on the app. And if I tap it, I see a pop-up appear. If you got stuck, check out the download and the course materials with the project at this point. You can also check out the next lecture, which explains how to solve common beginner problems. Otherwise, congratulations, we've already crossed off two items off our to-do list. What you just did may have seemed like complete gibberish to you, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna take it one small step at a time, and as the course goes on, we're gonna break down what you just did in great detail. Remember, it's all about learning via repetition.